Hey everybody, Craig Deleuze here with Cal FFL, coming to you live from SHOT Show 2014. I'm here right now with Chris Chang. He's the top shot winner for season four uh, on the History Channel. Uh, Chris, want to thank you for taking the time to talk with us. Um, just tell us about SHOT Show. How are you enjoying it? Yeah, so this is uh, my second SHOT Show. Uh, it is an industry convention where 60,000 plus people are here in Las Vegas. It's the fifth largest convention in Las Vegas. And I think it's the 16th largest convention in the world, either 14th or 16th. But basically, any new guns and gear uh, is, is uh, typically announced here at SHOT Show. Um, and it's a really, really fun week of getting to see new products and, and meet a lot of great folks in the, in the industry. Do you see any, see any new toys that are catching your eye? Yeah, nothing groundbreaking, but it's always fun to just, I think there's, we see a lot of iterations on existing products. So the first one that jumps to mind is there's a new Benelli 12 gauge shotgun. It's called the Ethos. Mm -hmm. uh, line and they have a new uh, new butt pad that you know absorbs more recoil and they have uh, I believe the bolt the bolts a little lightened as well uh, so it can even take seven eight ounce uh, mm -hmm. loads and uh, you know, all the way up to you know heavier loads as well. Wow. Okay. Um, so now tell me a little bit about you know how you got involved. Now just it, just recently you started getting really involved in advocating mm -hmm. for the Second Amendment. And I know you're not a new shooter. But you just started getting active and advocating for the Second Amendment, Second Amendment rights. What was it that really inspired you to start getting involved? Yeah, yeah so last year in 2013, I think was uh, you know a, a really, really tough year in California, specifically in, the, in terms of how many anti-gun bills we saw. And you know, I one question I get all the time, or I, you know, I travel the country, uh, you know, shooting for Bass Pro Shops, and when people find out that I'm from California, they often go, Chris. Why are you still living in California? Yeah. Go move to a more pro-gun, you know, friendly state. And I tell them, like, look, like I'm a native Californian, and if I and other pro-gun people leave the state, then who's going to be left to fight the good fight? Mm -hmm. And looking back at last year, we need to have more engagement and more, you know, representatives in the gun community speaking out against some of these onerous gun bills that. Obviously, there's just a lot of gun control that just doesn't work, and there's been there's been plenty of studies. There, there's just not there's not a sufficient amount of research um, or data that, that backs the assertion that gun control is effective. And so, you know, I I just I can't in good conscience stand by and and do nothing. So I wanted to get involved and continue to, to be involved and, and help represent our community and protect our Second Amendment rights. You know, it's funny that you say that. One of the things that uh, I always hear from folks is, well, you should, I should just leave California. Mm -hmm. And you know, my thing is, is that I don't believe in cutting and running. Right. I believe that there's a front line, uh, there's a front line, there's always going to be a front line for advocacy. And these sorts of philosophies, these sorts of policies, are only going to follow you. Mm -hmm. So if you run to Nevada or you run to Wyoming, guess yep. what? If you run away, they only get stronger here in California, and eventually, they'll catch up. Yep. That's so right. now, um, you know, you've been doing some stuff with Cal FFL, and I uh, just wanted to just uh, talk to you about a little bit, a little bit about uh, how you got connected with Cal FFL, and uh, why you think it's an organization worth being a part of. Yeah, so uh, you know, I'm also involved with the Cal Guns Foundation. That was my introduction to some of the Cal FFL people as well. And uh, you know, like I was saying earlier, I mean, I'm involved because I want to help protect our community's traditions and our rights. And there's no reason why law-abiding citizens like myself and others should should be responsible for the few actions of crazy people. And in California, you know, it, it's. Sort of the irony, I think, here is that we have Hollywood, which glorifies firearms and violence all the time, uh, and I think that that has a pretty significant contributing factor to how uh, a lot of Californians view firearms. When you, you know, I used to live down in, in Southern California, in Orange County, where the nightly news always leads off with some sort of you know violent crime, oftentimes a firearms involved. So you take that combined with violence in the media and, and movies and entertainment, and for 
Californians who don't have any balance and know the other side, right, that firearms can be used in a safe, lawful manner, it's, it's, it's no surprise that we have a lot of anti-gun sentiment in the state because people only see the negative, the, you know, the, 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 the evil side of, uh, of firearms. So, uh, you know, Cal FFL is a great, a great organization to help, uh, you know, represent our rights, protect them, you know, and uh, obviously empower gun stores and, you know, FFL, uh, you know, holders in the state to make sure that, you know, we are, uh, we're doing everything we can to, to preserve our Second Amendment rights here in California. Fantastic. Chris, thank you for taking some time to get together with us. Uh, we'll be back with more interviews and commentary and showing you some neat stuff that we're checking out here at SHOT Show 2014.